So I just had to comment on today's uh, suspension of Denard Paris. Uh, he's a CNN uh, right-leaning commentator who often defends Trump. Uh, he's put on there as you know the pro-Trump foil. Uh, he is also an African American, and uh, today he was let go. Or I'm sorry, he was suspended because uh, supposedly when he was at uh, Arizona State. Uh, university he was uh, sexually harassing women um, of course none of this came out we not we have not heard about any of this before up until yesterday uh, when he got into an exchange with um, a counterterrorism analyst named Philip Mudd um, he's kind of got a reputation for being unhinged and uh, uh, rabidly anti-Trump rabidly anti you know anybody on the right and uh, Denard Paris happened to bring up during this interview that, you know, a lot of these guys with security clearance use that security clearance to make money after they've retired. Uh, they go on to networks like CNN and, uh, you know, they're paid uh, for their knowledge and for their continual, continued uh, access to that information. Uh, when he brought this up, Philip Mudd just blew up on him. Uh, it, it, it's one of those situations where it seems like he was way too defensive for what was said. I mean, I think everybody pretty much understood that these guys go out and they make money. Uh, I want to say uh, James Clapper even said that he wouldn't be able to make money without his security clearance. So it's not like this is a controversial idea, and yet this guy blew up. If you have a security clearance, especially high-level security clearances, your contracts and your consulting give pay you a lot more money because of the access that you have. I hope the president continues to do this, and I hope he adds Omarosa to the list, because if she has a clearance, she too, because of her actions, uh, should have it revoked. Well, I don't know if I'd put Omarosa in the same category of the 75 people who signed those letters, but Phil Mudd, I imagine you want to react. Profitable Paris, when I am requested to sit on an advisory board, let me ask you one question. How much do you think I'm paid to do that at the request of the U.S. government? Give me one answer and you got 10 seconds. How much? I'll give, I'll ask you a question. How much are you paid for your consulting answer the question. contracting gig? For, for being a for being I have a no contracts with the U.S. government that pay money. I'm not talking zero. And this is the thing. When I'm not talking when I'm about asked the to offer advice field. to the U.S. government, Phil, I let's get be paid honest. zero. Phil, let's be That's honest. It. I'm not talking about your role with the federal government. I'm talking about oh, the who contracting are you talking about? gigs that you, you get about from General being a Hayden? consultant and a contractor. The consulting firms that they form and that you all get is because you get more money when having a consult before for having the security clearance. That Stop acting like that doesn't happen. I have That's zero consulting relationships with the U.S. government. Zero. I'm not talking, Phil, that's a good talking point. I'm not talking about relationship with the government. I'm talking about in the private sector. When you have a security clearance and you keep it. I have zero relationships with the private sector that involve my security clearance. Zero. I get well, zero dollars from consulting companies that deal with the U.S. government. Are we clear? Well, I will be clear in saying that everybody in Washington, D.C. knows if you don't want to be honest about it, that's on you. But if you have a security clearance and you keep it, you We're get done, more Jim. money to We're have done. it. We're done. Get out. So, <clears throat> Paris has denied the allegations. He says it's not true. Who knows, you know. Uh, I'm very suspicious just because we have not heard anything about this until the day after this blow up. And just like Jim Jordan, we didn't hear anything about these allegations until the day after he was really tough on Rod Rosenstein. It seems that there are real deep state people out there in the media and in the government who are trying to shut up people who are powerful advocates for the right or for Trump in the media.